So four pass breakups the last couple of years. Uh, but that elusive interception, how much does that weigh on you? <laughs> how much do you want to get an interception in a game? And how badly do you think you got screwed in Nevada on that interception? Uh, I'm making an emphasis on it right now for sure, getting some interceptions on my resume. But honestly, if, we, if I'm being real with you, I let that play go after it was over, before that game was even over. I mean, of course I wanted it, but they ruled it how they ruled it, and it was no get back on that. So I had to keep moving. But I for sure would love to have that one. I still watch it sometimes, though, you know, it's, it's a cool play. But yeah. Zizi, with, with you and, and CJ obviously having a, a ton of experience, and Craig said you, you guys have had a really nice spring, do you think that the, you know, the, the tandem of you two has a chance to be one of the top you know, kind of quarterback duos in the Mountain West? You saying, yeah, for sure. I think we will be the best cornerback duo in the Mountain West. Let me tell it, because I know I'm working very hard. I'm working to be the best in the nation, if we're being honest. And I know CJ is working hard as well, so I feel like it'll happen Naturally, we would just we would rise to the top and be the best in the conference for sure. And we want to win a lot of games this year, all of them. So we're gonna have to play well. So I feel like it'll happen naturally. It's just it's gonna take some work, and that's what we're doing right now. So. I know you guys, you and you and CJ are at the top of the depth chart at corner, but you guys are gonna need some depth there. Have you seen any of the young guys stand out this spring, or what do you think about that? Yeah, for sure. A lot of a lot of young dudes is not even just in the corner room in the secondary in general, from you know Cam to X KG. Everybody's everybody's getting better for sure. Like, and I could say that with confidence. I think everybody's getting better. The specifically though the corners that's behind me and CJ, I feel like they're doing a great job watching what we do, and trying to learn from it. You know, we don't do everything perfect, but we have experience, more experience than they have. So. They can learn something, but yeah, I feel like everybody's getting better every day. That's behind us. They're uh, paying attention to the details and they understand. So well, they got to uh, be prepared. Guys, I'm sorry. Any of those guys, any of those younger guys, stood out to you? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, they did for different reasons. I like Cam a lot. He pays attention to the details, like I was just saying. And uh, I like Xavier too. Xavier Carter. He run, he runs real fast. So I, I think both of them would be great players for uh, this university in the future. With the players that are back this year that, that weren't part of the team last year and as good as the defense was last year, how much stronger do you feel that you guys will be this season? I'm confident in that. I, I, like I told you, I feel like everybody's really getting better. Everybody, from the secondary to the whole defense. Like, And, of course, everybody's returning like you just said. I don't think we lost any starters. Did we lose any starters on defense? I don't think we lost any starters on defense. So, I mean – we just an older team all around, offense and defensively. So I'm really, I'm really looking at this point as it's just all up to us. We can win the conference if we want to. We can win every game if we want to. We just have to put the work in and be focused every day. And after we win, we got to just, you know, forget about it and keep moving. Zizi, I feel like I know the answer to this already, but has being a big talker on the field always been part of your game? <laughs> yeah, it has for sure. It kind of uh, gets me going and gets guys going around me on my team. So, yeah, that's a part of my game. And, uh, you know, sometimes sometimes it'll be flat out there, and that, that brings life out there. To even guys that don't talk, it'll just, they'll just be like, oh, shoot, I got to go. This guy's this guy turned up. Let's go. So, yeah. Well, I think about, like, Warren Jackson against CSU a couple years ago in the end zone. You got him pretty riled up. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, 2019. Yeah, I remember that, man. <laughs>